everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another food haul and it's another Aldi food haul. We've done our shopping for probably about a month or six weeks. This will last us. Obviously we will need to pick up things like milk, bread, fruit and veg, stuff like that throughout the month. This is our main bulk for the next month to six weeks. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Starting with meat and going down to like fridge stuff and then freezer. We've got a small whole chicken. What we're going to do is roast this and have it for dinner tomorrow and then the rest will be used for like lunches and then we'll probably put the remainder in a curry. I think that was something like £2.30 for a small chicken so you can't go wrong. And then underneath it we've just got a kilogram of chicken breast which we will split into twos and use for meals. We've then got two lots of mince. This is down to 135. The 20% fat one is good for making burgers and meatballs because it helps it stick together more. So we've just got two of them. And then pork mince for meatballs with the beef mince. So we just got one of them. And then we've got the turkey mince. I like making spaghetti bolognese with turkey mince or even burgers. We then got two chicken Kievs. I got these last time for when Glenn is having something like curry or minute lamb and I'm not a big fan and they are really good. We then got some pork chipolatas and Lincoln sausages. Glenn prefers Lincolnshire. I prefer chipolatas so we just got some of them. Minted lamb burgers for going and some minted lamb kebabs. We don't have a garden, so these will just be cooked like in the oven, probably not on a barbecue. We then got some ham trimmings. This is 169 and it's good to either snack on or for lunches. We then got some mushrooms, they off Glen, I'm not a big fan of mushrooms. 12 fringe range eggs there at the back, some strawberries and some mini sausage rolls. These are new in. These are good for, again, snacks and pack lunches. These are new as well. These are deliciously dinky melting mulberry pork pies. I prefer melting mulberry pork pies because they don't have a lot of jelly in them. And these are tiny little ones, so again, they'll be good for snacking. Some four cheese tortellini, again, either for Glenn's dinner or lunch. The back here we've got some giant caramel buttons they were reduced to something like 30p a bag so there's two of them and two bags of chocolate raisins they're glenn's favorite and i really like them some custard creams because our biscuit barrels are empty so we got some of them and some of the milk chocolate oaties which are basically milk chocolate covered hobnobs then got some normal sausage rolls. These are mainly for Glenn packing up because <laughs> he said these ones are easier to eat when he's driving instead of the mini ones. Some cheese, just a block of cheese for like cheese sandwiches and stuff. A fresh mozzarella and some grated mozzarella. This is good for obviously like spaghetti bolognese and stuff and this is good for just sprinkling over spaghetti bolognese if we've run out of the fresh one but this is also good for making cheesy chips if you put these two together. We also got some baby bells, these are for Glenn's lunch, he's a little bit obsessed with them at the minute. Some kind of treats, pots of chalk milk, chocolate and caramel. I'm guessing these are like pots of joy from Cadbury's so I'm going to try these out and they also have started doing these which are new which I'm guessing are a rip off of the Cadbury's ones but the, this one is the milk chocolate dessert with milk chocolate coated honeycomb pieces which I'm guessing is like crunchy so just got one of them to try they are something like 40p whereas they are 4 for 99p they are a bit smaller but better value to buy these ones and then Glenn got some lid chocolate trifles because they reminded him of childhood and he used to have them as a treat so we got some of them they're like three for 99p or 89p I think I just got some of the kids smoothies I'm not a big fan of the adult smoothies so I buy the kids ones and they're strawberry blackberry and raspberry 100% fruit some extra thick double cream to go with the strawberry. We also just picked up some compost kitchen caddy bin liners. These are new, I've never seen them before, but we use them in the food bin. They also had the links in for 
95p so I just picked up two of them moving across to the other side of my kitchen I just picked up some flowers if you follow me on Twitter you will see that I'm currently waiting for my peonies to bloom blossom I don't know what the word is but Aldi had them in for £3.50 my other ones are from Tesco's and were £6 and I think I'm on about day 10 and they're still not open properly so I'm hoping these ones are going to open quicker I then picked up these ones which I can't say the name of but they are yellow and I want them for an Instagram picture so they were the first yellow flowers I've seen so I just grabbed them then just grabbed some all butter croissants I really like croissants and they're nice for breakfast so just grabbed some of them toasted muffins again for breakfast and a tiger bloomer we really like tiger bread and that looked really good so we grabbed one of them we then grabbed a spray light we are running out of fry light and obviously this is the Aldi equivalent so we just grabbed that then Glenn grabbed some curry so you've got tikka masala rogue josh bolty and gel frizzy he also grabbed a bottle of balsamic vinegar which is about 59p i think so way cheaper than most supermarkets he then grabbed some garlic naan breads and some plain ones for his dinner tonight which i'll show you in a minute and obviously the other curries <laughs> random alcohol section i don't i don't really drink and glenn is kind of isn't drinking at the minute but his dad told him about the new beers that they have in so he just picked up four so if your partner or dad seems that it's coming up to father's day likes ale then aldi have got loads in at the minute i think they're like one pound 29 a bottle so he just got dragon's heart ripsaw which is from the same makers as hobgoblin i'm pretty sure that is the one and then he got humdigger and the rev james pale ale i just grabbed a strawberry daiquiri that you put in the freezer and then obviously it turns into a frozen strawberry daiquiri i really like strawberry daiquiris it is what i normally have if we go to tgi's or frankie and benny's so i just grabbed one of them that was like 89p so you can't go wrong we then got two garlic pizza bread flatbreads for like bolognese and meatballs this is glenn's dinner and i it's got bombay potatoes and a chicken tikka masala with pilaw rice normally when we go food shopping we just grab something quick and easy for dinner we then grab some rip-off magnums these are down to like 79p or something i prefer the white ones no glenn prefers the white ones i prefer the chocolate ones my dinner tonight is cheesy garlic bread and a double pepperoni pizza glenn will probably have some of this as well and i'll have the pizza we picked these up last time they are the gastro range of chicken and they're really good so we got the crispy chicken chunk the hot and spicy fillet strips the hot and spicy chicken breast fillets and the just normal breaded fillet strips we then just got a bag of chips to put in the freezer and then four bottles of strawberry water an elderflower two bottles of tropical blast which tastes like lilt and two cartons of apple and raspberry juice drink we also grabbed some monster clothes which are 10 for 99p basically monster munch and just a 30 pack of crisps which has five different flavors in and the final things are just the candles that they've just brought out so you get a three set for 3 dollars or the large one for 3 dollars So you've got rose, fig and berry in the mini set. And then you can buy the larger ones in the same three cents. But I just picked up the berry and the rose because I'm not that keen on the fig one. So that is everything we picked up this month in our food shop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I will see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.